Hey, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. This video is going to take a quick look at how you can use the VLOOKUP function to find a value based on another value. So what does that actually look like? Uh, I've got this nice little drop down here with different parts in it. Uh, and if you want to learn how to make this drop down, there's a video link in the description. Uh, you, can, you can follow that and, and learn how this works. Um, but when I select a different part, I want the associated cost to pop up here. So that's my value of the cost based on the value of the part. Um, so in order to do this, I need to create a table somewhere that has a list of all the parts and all the associated costs. I've done that on a separate sheet. You don't have to do that on a separate sheet. You can pretty much do it wherever you want. Um, but I have a nice little list of parts and their costs. Back here, I'm going to click in the cell where I want the number to appear. Hit the equal sign. Type the word VLOOKUP. It doesn't have to be all caps, but I like to do that just so it's easy to find the formulas that I'm using. Now the first thing I need to enter is the lookup value. The lookup value is it what's here in A2. So part one, part two, or part awesome, depending on which one I've selected. So I want it to look at that. I can type in A2 or just click on the cell. Next, I need to tell it where to look. Uh, so it, it'll it's the the lookup range. Um, I can highlight just these columns if I want to, or if I think I might be adding more information later, I can even I can even highlight more columns. So VLOOKUP can use this list and search down as many columns as you need to. Um, but it's always important to make sure that your lookup values are in the leftmost side um, because that's where it's going to look. It's going to look in the first column and then the values that it will return will be based on the other columns. We'll add another comma. And now we need to tell it which column to return the information from. So we know it's looking it up from the first column. Uh, so that's column one. Now our information is in column two. So we can hit column two and then another comma and we're going to type in the word false. That just means do an exact match. Uh, there is a way to do a range lookup. Uh, maybe you have uh, different prices depending on the age of your customer. So you would have range lookups. If they're between 10 and 18, the price is one thing. If they're between 19 and 64, it's another price, um, that sort of thing. So using the range lookup allows you to make a table that only has the cutoff ages uh, instead of all of the ages, uh, and it'll just look up in between. But we're not doing that here. We're going to do an exact match. Uh, so now that we finish that, we'll have our close parentheses, and we'll hit Enter, and you'll see that it functions properly. Everything moves around nicely. Um, now, just to show you how the column piece works here, let's say we have a, another column here, and this is going to end up being manufacturer. Um, so we'll flip back over here and we'll get back into our formula if we were to change this to column 4 now you'll see that we get the manufacturer instead of the price um, so VLOOKUP is very flexible you can draw tons of data it's, uh, it's a great tool for making a, a little simple database that you can draw information from. So if this video has been helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.